Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this quick video I'm going to teach you guys how to use the secret graphing technique that Napoleon Hill teaches you to achieve any goal, any income, or anything quantifiable that you want in a record speed, in his words, so fast it will scare you. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, so before I teach you how to do this technique, let me explain the technique a bit. So this technique is actually from Napoleon Hill himself. He actually started teaching this technique to what he called at the time regular people. Now let me define that for you. We would probably be whoever's behind this camera here, me, you know, we would be considered what he would call regular people. And he called us regular people when he was talking to people at the Chamber of Commerce early 1900s. Now in the early 1900s, the Chamber of Commerce wasn't like the Chamber of Commerce in your city right now. You couldn't just have a business and become a part of it, right? You needed a private invite. You needed to be the top of the top in business in your area to even be considered. So when he's presenting this to those people, he said this technique, when applied by normal people, gets results so fast that it was frightening, that it would frighten them and it would frighten him. Right, and it had a 100% success rate as long as you focused right. So to use this technique, first of all, you need a proper focus. Now, what Napoleon Hill would call a, a proper focus would be something you have a burning desire for, something that excites you, but you also believe it's possible for you beyond a reasonable doubt. So how do you do this? Well. There's a dream building technique that's going to be linked below this video that you can click with teaches you how to define multiple goals, but whatever you're aiming for, you just need to start picking at it. So let's say, let's get this here. Let's say you're trying to pick an income goal, right? Let's say you want, and again, if you're earning, you know, $2,000 a month on a job, don't put this on your goal. Count extra income above what you would normally make if you want to do income, right? So let's say I wanted an extra $2,000, right? An extra $2,000 a month on top of my current income just to come in, right? And you want an extra 2 k So first things first is what you can do is you can literally do a bunch of different levels, right? You can go like this. You can go 3,000, 3,500, 4,000. And what you want to do is first you need to see if you have a burning desire for this, which means does it excite you? Does it fire you up? Does it get you going, right? So what you do is you go along this and you just close your eyes and focus. Think about getting an extra $2,000 a month. How does it make you feel? Does it light you up? Does it make you smile? Does it get you going? Or do you start to feel bad the longer you focus on it? You want to focus and focus. If it's firing you up and you're getting excited, good. Put a check beside it. Next one, 2,500 and so on and so forth. And you go until you're not getting checks anymore, right? Maybe 3,500 doesn't feel good. You just, part of you doesn't believe you can have it, okay? So if that doesn't fire you up, or actually in most case scenarios, all of these will fire people up. That's not the problem. You could think of a million dollars a month, right? If you think of this right now, it's going to fire you up, right? But do you believe it, right? So what I like to do is once I have the checks and I know what I have a burning desire for, you want to go back through and you want to think in the next four six eight weeks how likely do i believe i could attain this right with a 10 being no matter what i could get that i definitely believe beyond a reasonable doubt in the next six weeks i can get this 10 right maybe at 3500 you start going to like a six maybe you're like a 10 at 2000 you're still a 10 at 2500 you go down to an eight at 3000 you go down to a six here you go down to a four here right that means you don't want to focus on this you don't believe you're going to get it and if you're not focusing on something you 100 percent believe you're going to get you're not going to get it you actually create resistance you push it away because every time you're like oh man i can't wait to get the four thousand dollars a month it's going to be so great your brain says you <laughs> you're going to get the four thousand dollars a month right like it doesn't believe you so it doesn't try and it becomes your enemy because your brain wants you to survive it wants you to run to pleasure and avoid pain and if your brain thinks aiming for this is going to create pain because you're not going to get it it doesn't want you to get hurt it's not going to let you get there 
it will literally sabotage you. You want your brain on your side. So what you want to do is you want to find a sweet spot. So right here, 2025, 10 and 10. You want to go to the highest 10 you can get, right? So 2,500. So that's what we would want to chart in this scenario. Now you can chart sales. You can chart number of maybe, maybe you have a business where you have calls that come in and that, that dictates how much success you're going to get. Like if every 10 calls you get, you get X amount of revenue or something on average. Well, you can chart, you can chart the calls. You can chart your golf score. You, anything quantifiable, you can chart. Right, as long as it it can move up in a graph and it's not yes or no, top or bottom, I have it or don't. As long as it's quantifiable, so you can actually see movement, you can see progression in it. That's the only thing that's important. So you need to find a quantifiable goal that you have a burning desire for, that you believe out of a nine or a ten you can get in the next four to six weeks. Now you don't need to understand how, right? I can just say, you no, know, I feel like I could get an extra twenty five hundred dollars in the next six weeks. I don't know how, but I feel like I could actually do like my brain feels like I could do that. Perfect. That's all you need. So next thing, let me wipe this off. We have the whiteboard wiped off here. The next thing you want to do is you actually want to start your graph. Now you can draw your graph with this regular line if you want. Might be a little squiggly or, you know, if you're a little OCD like me, you can do a nice straight line. So, you know, I'll take this little clipboard and I'll make a nice straight line. So I'm just going to do that for you real quick and cut. Okay. So I have my main line on here, as you can see. Now I did mine in permanent marker. I like to do it in permanent marker, but you want to graph everything else in blue. Even if you could get a blue permanent marker, would be better. I only had a black, so I used a black. And if you're like, well, the permanent marker is going to wreck it. If you go like this and you write over with a regular marker and you go like this, it goes away. You can get rid of the permanent marker on a whiteboard. No problem. Don't worry. You're not going to wreck your whiteboard. So the next thing. What you want to do is wherever you're going to place this whiteboard, you want to place it somewhere where you're going to see it a lot, right? I have mine just beside where I work. So when I'm sitting working at my desk, I look up like this and I can see it, right? You want to put it where you're going to see it most often because you get what you think about most of the time, right? So what you want to do is you, if, if I was going to place it here, wherever you place it, you want to, you want to write everything on it in a way that you can see it easily wherever you are sitting and standing when you pay attention to it, right? So if I write these numbers and stuff really tiny and it's across my room and I have to squint to, to understand where the numbers are, no, you want your brain to be able to just easily recognize it. So for here we could put, and let's say you're gonna have a lot of days, right? You could put this, like a big marker for week one, a big marker for week two, a big marker for week three, big marker for week four, right? And then you could put little ticks in between it for the extra days, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, one more, right? You can have little ticks in between it. As long as you can easily tell from a distance where you are, right? I, if I was right here, I could tell that's a couple ticks in and this is my week one, this is my week, I can tell from a distance where I'm sitting. The most important thing is you can tell with where you're sitting. So you could put days at the bottom because usually your bottom is gonna be time passed. So I put days here, I could put week one, week two, week three, and week four. Then on here, if we were going for the example, let's say the 2,500, we could put a thousand tick here, we could put a 2,000 tick here, and we could put a 5,000 or 2,500 tick here, right? So we write 2,500, nice and big, where I can see from a distance, 2,000, nice and big, 1,000, and then you can put, you no, know, nine more ticks in. And of course, you can use a ruler, make your spacing completely perfect. This is just a concept. Do it how you would want it, how it's going to be pleasant to your eyes, right? Because it, it needs to be nice for you to look at. So you get your extra ticks in here. And then all you do is, you know, you start your first day, you start day one, and you're down here. You've got nothing yet, right? That's the start of your line. But as long as you can see it easily, and whatever is right here, you need to believe. You need to believe beyond a reasonable doubt in the next six weeks, you could get this. That is the most important part about it. So now you have your graph, you have it ready, you have it on your wall. How do you use it? Right? I told you how to set it up. I didn't teach you how to use it yet. So what you're going to do to use it is every day, preferably when you first get up for at least 68 seconds, I like to do for a minute and a half, 
But for at least 68 seconds, what you're going to do is you're going to look at your graph on the wall and you're just going to visualize seeing this line actually filled in. Like the time passed and seeing the line go. And you're going to look at it and you're going to, you're going to see it going. You're going to visualize it going. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to see the graph in your head. And you're going to see the line going up in your head. And as the line's going up, you're going to visualize, how do I feel? When I'm at a thousand bucks extra this month, how do I feel now? What am I doing? What am I spending it on? Is there a camera you want? Is there a, a training you want? What do you want with it? What would you be spending it on if you got it? Picture yourself spending it. Picture yourself enjoying it. When you hit the top, the 2,500, what are you going to do? What are you going to get? Right? Maybe you're getting a ticket for an event. Who knows? Whatever you're going to get, you need to picture yourself getting it. You need to feel it. Make it as real as you can. You want to touch the ticket. If it's if it's maybe you get to that amount, you're going to put a down payment on a car. Picture yourself in the car. Feel the steering wheel. Hear the sound of the engine. Feel the leather seat if it's a leather seat. Feel suede seat if it's a suede seat. And then you know what you do when you're not looking at your graph? Go test drive it. Go get as close to whatever you get at the top as you can. Make it as real as you can. Look at pictures. Put yourself in the picture. But at least once a day, preferably at least twice a day in the morning and at night before you go to bed, you want to focus on the graph. You want to visualize it for at least 68 seconds, seeing it go up and experiencing what you will feel if it was filled in. If this graph right now was filled in at the top, how would you feel? What would you be doing? That's the most important part. You want to get to that moment while looking at the graph, showing your brain, brain, we need to get here. Brain, we got to get here. Your brain will help you find ways to get there. I guarantee you, if you focus on this right, and this is in your sweet spot, your brain will find a way to get there. It wants you to find a way to get there because your, your brain chases pleasure, runs away from pain. If all this graph does is give you pleasure, your brain wants to fill it in. The universe will help you fill it in. That's how it works. That's why it always works 100% of the time. But you got to have the right focus at the top. This has to be sweet spot. If you go to 100K a month and you're making a couple thousand dollars a month, you really think you're going to get that in four weeks, six weeks? No. Every time you look at it, your brain is going to shit on you. Literally going to say, nope, 100 grand. Yeah, that'd be cool to have all that, but you're not the type of person that deserves it. Like, we're not going to get there. Like, I know you, you know you. You're not going to get there right now. It's not about getting your final goal here. It's about getting the believable goal because guess what? Guess what guys, when this chart, when this chart starts going up like this and I start getting to the top of this, guess what? I'm redoing my chart. I'm changing the numbers because if I'm here and I got two weeks left and I'm already at $2,000, chances are this isn't in my sweet spot anymore. Something above it is. If I'm halfway in my month and I'm already three quarters, you know, just over three quarters of the way to my goal, all of a sudden I'm thinking 2,500 is not big enough i could go to i could probably hit 3500 i could probably hit 4000 and now that that eight or that six when you first did the exercise is now a 10 right you snowball success is a snowball people think success is just a straight line up it's not success is like this but it snowballs it gets momentum it does a curve like this right you always get the most growth in your success in the smallest last little part right you get 90 percent of your success in the last 10 percent of the time but you have to show up 100 percent of the time to get there so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys use your graph and achieve your goals dreams and desires but again make sure burning desire you it excites you when you think about it it fires you up it makes you smile you believe you can get it in the next four to six weeks. It is a nine or a 10 on the believability index. And three, it's got to be quantifiable. Has to be quantifiable. And that's it, guys. Do this. Comment below your results after you apply this. I've had people applying this for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and it's changing their lives. So I can't wait to see what it does for you. It changed, it changed normal people's lives for Napoleon Hill. It can change, it's changed my life, and I know for fact it can change yours. You have the power in you to create, be, do, or have anything and everything you want. You just got to focus on it properly. You get what you think about most of the time. So I'll leave you with that. And as always, guys, love your life or change it. Peace. Hey guys, Mike here, and thank you for watching my video.
I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to even check it out. Subscribe below so you can join me. And together we can see the whole world. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below what you like the most and where I should go next. Hit those social media buttons. Go to createyourownfreedom.net so you can see more. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next country. I remember you guys. Love your life or... Jesus!